All right, so we're walking to the entrance of this mine and already the temperature has gone down 20 degrees. This is Georgia AC. Georgia AC. And remember kids, never play around in abandoned mine shafts. For the last week, I've been kicking around the deep south and slowly making my way towards the mountains. A number of my friends happened to be in the area, so I knew things were about to get interesting. My first stop was my friend Tom's place just outside of Gainesville, Georgia. A fan from YouTube had also reached out. He was living off a silver wing scooter and had recently had a random sexual encounter with a porn star at a campground. At the age of 54, he didn't really expect anyone would believe his story and didn't seem to care one way or the other. <laughs> you could say no, officer. I watched, I watched all for you. <laughs> Just watch the RPM. There you go. Right, now the shift once. Yeah. No shift. Yeah, no man. shift. Just give it to gas. Go. I only get to go out like two months out of the year. Uh, I have to take it. My ex, ex, she gets off work like for two months out of the year, and then I take it. Okay. Well, I'm kind of limited on storage capacity. This is how a man should live. This is all Scotty stuff. So myth versus reality. This is where Scotty really lives. Exactly. <laughs> one to two That's a two I was down at a uh, place called Barrington Park. Yeah. It's down in South Georgia. If you ever coming through there, man, it's like a little, it's like a little campground. They don't charge you anything. They got hot showers. I don't know if you've yeah. been there. No, yeah. I've been there. But I mean, homeless people act like us over so yeah. there. <laughs> I mean, they're crowded up in there. They're living there permanently. So this is one campsite right here. That's the fire pit yeah. right there. Okay. We're going to end up in that field eventually. There's okay. a bridge, because this is a, the walking path on the river, and there's a little bridge down there for walking. Yeah. Don't try to take your motorcycle across it. It's real slippery, like. It okay. Is. Limbs constantly fall. This is the North Oconee River. There's no dam okay. above us. There's no... We're kind of at the headwaters of it. Basically. Yeah. It's, should be really clean water. I, I've never had it tested. Any fish in there? Yeah, yeah. There's like river or carp or something. There's these big giant carp and stuff like okay. that. Okay. But it's too hot to have trout. These are, trees are mostly black walnuts. All this dark and bark, they're all black Oh, walnuts. nice. There's a beaver right through here somewhere, building oh, yeah. a dam somewhere, or either in the embankment. Because he, the che he's chewing these trees. Like, I'll see the saplings about that big. Yeah. And all the, you know, he fall, he's following these trees along the river right here, so. Anybody that can shoot him can make a hat out of that. That's what I need to be for hat to ride up. Yeah, exactly. You need, you need one more thing on your scooter. <laughs> <laughs> this washed away. We had nine inches of rain in one night about three years ago. Uh, wow. And it washed this thing away, so whenever I get cement blocks or something, I bring it down here to the track and just yeah. fill it in that hole. Yeah. But it's like an underground spring. And it, huh. and it just washed that bank away right there. It's the weirdest thing. This is the trail. Like you can drive a Jeep on this for a four runner. I've had, had one guy with a Range Rover come back here. 130,000 on a Range Rover, white, with all the wow. big wheels on it and everything. I was like, dude, are you serious? He's like, oh yeah, it's made for this. I'm like, okay. Scotty stayed the first time in the spring of 2020 when coronavirus hit and everything was locked down. Yeah. And he said, I. I don't know what's going on. I need any place to go. And I'd always offered it to him the same way I've done Joe. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, just come up here. It's I'm not wearing a mask. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I've already been sick in February. I was like, I don't care. We're not gonna come back up this way, but we'll go down okay. this way. You can see the trails over here, Joe. Yeah. There's trails over here. I've made so many trails. Up here for no. Today's this is his first hour. I was down here cutting grass when Joe got here. It rained like the Dickens was yesterday or day before. That's Did why I, this is so slippery right here. Uh, yeah, I was cutting this field. These are the jumps. Under these weeds are the motorcycle jumps. Okay. This is like a little mini motocross track down here. <laughs> all there again, all black walnut. See that big black walnut? Yeah. All these trees. Most of all of them are black. And I'm leaving this as a thicket for the deer because I need some deer. Yeah. 
sun. Yeah. And this is the sun to scale. To scale. And every planet is built to scale, so like, ah. this is a spec. Yeah. yeah. We'll, you can video it as we... No kidding. Cars. That's cool. So it's, uh, yeah, that's the different streets you take. So this is Mercury. That's Mercury? Yeah. Oh, that's now, sometimes the Sometimes somebody stole the, stole, somebody stole the planet. Oh. Sometimes kids steal the planet. Oh, uh, somebody stole the planet on this one. And I think Earth and Moon are still there. That's old Joe. Old Joe. Actually, statue from the Spanish-American War from Texas. Oh, no, no kidding. Daughters of the Confederacy did this in 1909. Uh -huh. Venus is gone. Somebody, somebody took Venus, Venus too? Man. Yeah. Somebody stole it. Wow. Earth and Moon's right here. Okay. <laughs> Mars is on that corner over there. See the corner over there? Yeah. That's how close we are to Mars. How close we are. Damn. See, so, so that's the that size big. of Earth. And the moon is that big. Wow. Man. That's crazy. The sun's all the way past Old Joe. Oh, yeah. See him way over there? It's the bridge to nowhere. For, since 2009, all the way up until about 2020, 21. Yeah. It was just a grass field on the other side of this and everybody's like, uh. it cost nine million dollars to build a bridge that <laughs> has no use. It can't use cars, it can't and it went to nowhere. Yeah. Just a grass field on the other side. Gainesville, uh, Georgia, we're out here uh, exploring. Chicken capital of the world. This is the chicken capital of the world. <laughs> They're free out here. Are they free out here? Some of them. Well, I hope so. Long Street's from here. General James Long Street. Oh, okay. I can show you his old crib. Wow, oh, all right. Tom's son was getting ready to graduate from military school, and he was absolutely buzzing with excitement as we toured the grounds. I like the knife in the calzone. Exactly. That way you know they're not playing around. They're not messing around. The question is, is can, can we- cut your piece and then let it cool? I'm gonna cut it all. Yeah, there you go. All right, these are my new digs. Probably one of the nicest spots I've ever camped in, climate controlled. Actually, what I'm studying right now is uh, a little bit of French because uh, uh, I'm planning on going to Laconia and then Canada uh, after that. So uh, this just kind of gives me a leg up once I get there and should help me get around uh, a lot better because there's a lot of people in Quebec that don't speak uh, any English at all. So it really goes a long way in a foreign country to be able to count. That way you're not just randomly handing some stranger your money. Another friend whom I'd met at the Forgotten Angels camp out lived about 30 minutes away. While Tom was busy making preparations for his son's graduation, Wade and I rode out to see him. So we're all uh, packed up, getting ready to head down the road. Oh uh, yeah, it should be fun, man. We're close. Here we go. Jerry was waiting for us at the top of the hill. What's going on, brother? Welcome back. Thank you, man. Well, I guess welcome well, here. It's a nice place you got here, brother. Well, I appreciate it. Not really, but got a smoking deal on it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, free. So. No oh, shit. Yeah. That is a smoking deal, that. man. Yeah. I laid down the linoleum in it. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. I'll, I'll plug the yeah, this place extension is. cord up in it, you know, and then you'll have lights. 
I got this little light strung up in the trees, you know. Yeah. It's just a little yeah. one man show, you know. I laid yeah. down this artificial turf. That's nice. Oh, this about killed me. Really? Cause it, it still has the sand in it. <laughs> really? Unbelievable. I have to use our machine to yeah. to roll it out. That's why it's not straight. Really? Because once it's laid down, you can't. It's oh, so yeah. heavy, you can't. I still have many rolls of it over there, and I'll really? just eventually I'll, I'm going to piece it in. But yeah, I'm the one man thing here, and yeah. my, my arthritis yeah. really hampers me. Ah. Oh. So. All right, so we're headed to the copper mine. Crazy. Everybody always gets quiet when I turn this thing on. No, you're in the footage. You are the footage. I was waiting on you to get on talking. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we thought you were gonna give a blurb yeah. about this. I yeah. had no clue what was going on. So where are we going? So we're going to the copper mine. I, okay. I, I personally don't know the history of it. Yeah. It's just cool. It's just fucking cool. It, yeah. it's cool. It's the largest mine entrance that yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. I don't know when they stopped mining there. Oh. Left or right? Uh, right. To the right. I, I do know the guy that owns it, his name is, the property now is Lowell Dunn. He has since passed and uh, now his children still own the property. Hmm. You're not supposed to go there, but yeah. Everyone's well, still well, we're going there anyway. You damn right. We like to live there. <laughs> it's what outlaws do, sir. That's right. I would assume, but oh. there's a there's a reason. I... Oh yeah. <laughs> I've never ridden the chair hollow since then. Well, for one, yeah. I don't have no one to ride with. I was wearing these indie rig boots that day. Yeah. The water was flowing over the top uh, because they don't have the vent holes in them. Yeah. The motorcycle community is really tight knit because you can kind of, I don't know, meet your heroes or meet celebrities within it fairly easy. Oh, yeah. It's it's nothing like people act like it is. Wow. San Francisco. Yeah. City I never want to see again. I don't ever want to go back. I don't care to go back there. It's pretty. It's pretty warm. Those chicks in Guatemala yeah. can walk, run up and down stuff oh, like this because they grow up in it. Yeah, Joe, keep telling us about your well adept women. <laughs> I got stories, man. <laughs> Not safe for YouTube. <laughs> That's the shit you put on Odyssey. <laughs> right, right, right. Supposedly, there's a second, a second entrance. Ah, uh. where do you see that where this water is crossing here? Yeah. If you follow that upwards and just follow that that water, there's another entrance to it. Um, it's flooded, so you would like need waders or you just have to get wet. That water's way too cold for me to do. Okay. If you touch that, you know, Let me see. Yeah, you know, I fucking jump in that, man. Not me, bro. Hey, y'all. Hello. Good. Did you have a sure. good walk? Yeah, it was nice. It was awesome. Have a good afternoon. You as well. Take care. When I first moved here in 2001, all this un all this growth wasn't here. So it was much, oh, really? It was much nicer. Ah. Uh. So where the water goes down there, you drop down in that pool. Uh. It'll force you through that tunnel in the rock. I'm not brave enough to do it. The history fact for the day. This tree right here that's bent at this right angle. Yeah. It was a common practice among the Cherokee people to bend trees around sources of water. And you'll see trees around the age of 150 years old uh. that are bent in the same manner to indicate the direction of water. Oh. Well, I mean, they put it awfully close to the water. If you can't find that, you're in trouble. It's a good point. <laughs> Maybe it's for the blind. Baby. For the blind. blind yeah, baby. you just feel your way. It's like Braille. <laughs> hey, he's got a point. That's what I got.
I'll tell you what, this would be the most killer camping spot ever if you get in here. Yep. Yeah, I fell in it. You fell in there? Yeah. I was you trying fell to, in there? Yeah, I was trying to walk the top rail. <laughs> Landed about Damn, where the dude. Is there, lucky you right? didn't Jerry, hit your head, man. Jerry, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're lucky you ain't dead. My claim to fame is not intelligent. Okay. Man, they must have found some copper in there, huh? Oh yeah. Land of the law. It's hard to justify the scope of That's the center call huh. holding the roof up. Wow. Solid rock. Yep. There's a waterfall right up here. Well, a water trickle. Hmm. You need to come down here at night. Yeah. You want to talk about spooky? Oh, I bet. Yeah, he's got the big white chair. Check out his drains out. Yeah. Oh, cool. This is water. What would you guess that? 30 feet? Oh, every, at least. Now we can have a disco in here. <laughs> Just hopefully there's no bears. All fun and games until the white bear comes out. Oh yeah. That there would be the entrance and that's yeah. where they collapsed it. Okay. So you can't go no further. Yeah. That second entrance that I told you about. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's the better. second entrance yeah. is supposedly you can go deeper into the mountain. Yeah. But I'm not wading through that deep of water. It's Me neither. Risk for reward? No. I'm not into that. Collapsed oh bridge. God. I guess it I guess it it didn't have nothing on the back side that you could see. Yeah. So Huh. I'll be damned. Well, it collapsed into something. It, well, it was probably a cave in inside. Into the cave? Yeah. It's been that way for a long time. Look how this tree is coming out. Yeah. There she is. Some kind of... i tell you what it was. Like a mining bucket system? I'll tell you what I think it was. I think it carried power. <laughs> Scotty's sleeping bad. Concrete mixed with shale. So they must have had some kind of a shaft in there, bringing stuff up and transporting it down to the road. It's possible, or what it could be is, you had the I-beams to run power up here. Yeah. By Wade's feet down there. Yeah. yeah. There's a cable. Yeah, but was that, was that like a bucket cable or a power cable? No, it looked like a power coupling. Oh. Huh. The, the way that this is laid out to me, it looks like, like a bucket. There would have been like a steel structure bolted. To the yeah, it would have been something for sure. Because it has, with these notch outs, if that was just a power tower, yeah, it, would it wouldn't be have been based. Yeah, concrete. Oh, shit. Let me, I don't know if I want to stand on this. Filled in with dirt. <laughs> just track. thinking about me, it. Me, Joe, Jerry, and Wade, and the whole thing just. just <laughs> that'd be good for a video. For be, about 30 seconds, yeah. I thought we discovered that cache of gold they had hidden away back here. Screw the gold. You seen the price of copper? Yeah, it's we'll up there. We'll take copper. I'll take copper. Shit. We'll take copper. And I woke up. So and it goes I from there. Down the highway. And then right behind there is there's another concrete structure. Turns right on, turns off. And I'm like, So it's yeah. getting cooler? Yeah. We might be getting close. Would you think that's like a water flue? That's Would kind of what it looks like. I guess. I don't know. Let's go look at that hole. Because hey. it might be like gold where they got to separate it using the water, you know? I, I have no damn clue. They may use a 
uh, a lot, like a lot of water for the drill heads and stuff. Yeah. That's a good point, Blake. You think this is part of where they collapsed it? Yeah. No, I think this is where the inside fell in. And it took the top surface. See how the top surface isn't des destroyed and it's stratified all the way down? It wouldn't be that way if they'd blown it. It had more jagged edges to it. See how everything right. looks kind of... Look at the taproot on that tree. Holy shit. It's exposed Damn. Like that. Some crazy shit. How crazy is that? Think how many storms that things went through in April. Oh. Uh -huh. It's a big tree, too. Earl, well, no, there's two of them. No, that's, that's one. Two. That's one. Oh shit! I didn't even I didn't see, see that. that one. Damn, family affair. What did you do, buddy? Too? He's still alive. I don't know. Oh, oh, that one is still alive. I didn't no. see him either. That's the copperhead for you, though. I guess. Blends in pretty good. I can't believe it moved. He's dead. He's just twitching. He's still moving. I know nobody killed him with that broke ass stick. They ain't no way they killed them. That, that, well, that one looks like it's rotted. Yeah. This one's yeah. fresh. <laughs> don't, don't fucking yeah. Jerry leave her alone. Yeah. Hey, boys, watch this. Hold my beer. Hold my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you what not to do. This is something, ain't it? Come and look at this. Yeah. This is a. Uh... You gotta look at these things. Oh. Whoa. Look at the same one. <laughs> Holy moly. Fresh. Look at that bacon. Jerry said he knew I'd like this place, and he was right. Man, I just, I can't get over the absolute variety in here. I mean. Oh, something's pretty right there. Hey, that's a nice oh, shot, man. That's like the nicest fat boy I ever seen. That's a 2001. The paint is Jade Sun Glove. Mm. Wow. I had never seen, out of all the rallies I've went to, I had never seen another Harley with that color. Yeah. Until Shay and Josh got their, their Sportsters. That, to this day, those are the only two Harleys that I've ever seen. That color, yeah. That color. Huh. Wow. That's a pretty color. It's flops, green to blue. Yeah, green to blue. Yeah. Jay, like you said, yeah. It's got Thunder Star mm -hmm. mag wheels. You put put some light on it, and then you can see the the, the paint flop on it. Oh wow. gosh! Oh, yeah. Wow! Now it's blue. All right. Look at the bottom of the tank. It's still green mm -hmm. when the yep. light ain't hitting. Like look there at the fender. The center's green, but the edges are blue. Yep. Mm. I mean, if you look, you see the wheels. So these the rotors match. The, yeah. ev ev I'm just that kind of guy. The everything, you know. I got the flame air cover. So because I yeah. did that, everything else has to be flames. Flame. Those thunder stars weren't popular Even when the they came out. Matches the wheels. But later on, people just went nuts over mm. them because yeah, they were so rotors. hard to find. Like and a set of them wheels. With good chrome it's like this, style. about it's two right. grams. Got to cross on the back of it. It's nuts. And it's got. Did you see the demon? Yeah. In the center. In the center. Yep. Yeah. So I, I love everything with two, two wheels. wheels. Yeah. Yeah. So whether it be a motorcycle, a bicycle, it doesn't matter. I will have fun on it. 
I, you know what I mean? You know when you go out motorcycle riding, how it clears your mind? Yeah. And you don't think about your problems or whatnot. I can get on this fat boy and have the same experience. I can get on this bicycle and give me the same experience. Yep. Either way, I'm having fun. I'll have a smile on my Absolutely. face. Absolutely. That's freedom. It is. It's just so much fun. The Atomic Bikes. And sticker. That is a bike shop in Santa Fe Springs, California. When I was truck driving, I went to that bike shop. I took my wife from Wisconsin all the way to Santa Fe Springs, California just to buy her bicycle. Mm. She's so short that her standover height on her bike, she had to have, and the frame is still up there. It's awesome. But I had to special order the bike. Oh. She's so short. Yeah. She needed a 12 inch frame on a 26 inch wheel. Oh. Look at this, it's comical. I got to talking to the manager of the bike shop. Yeah. And he was from Maitland, Florida. Okay. He knew all the bike trails in Florida that I rode and everything. He ordered me this frame. Yeah. Now, when I say a 12 inch frame. Oh, wow. It's 12 inches from the center of the bottom bracket to the top. Imagine that frame on those wheels. Yeah. You know what he charged me? Oh. Cost. Really? Yep. He charged me yeah. what it cost his bike shop to order this frame. Oh. I had to see him side by side to get a idea. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a munchkin bike. Well, I got a munchkin old lady. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't help it. No matter what I do, I can't get her to stretch. You know I mean? And I, let me tell you, try though you may. Weird position. Come on, Shit ain't happening. It's cold nature. You got camp? <laughs> She'll come to life. Damn right, that's six horsepower of hell right there. Six horses. Look and go. That's so cool looking. <laughs> Once it warms up, it'll go. And we never saw him again. <laughs> right. right. He's going back to his porn star. <laughs> He goes, look, he's baby, probably, I got a new hey, ride. He's probably pulling two with that one. Yeah, what they got under that awning over there, man? Oh, uh, that's my mom's golf cart. Uh, oh, is like it? A, it's like a 32 Ford. Is it? Yeah, you want to see it? Sure, yeah. Wow. So tell me about this. Uh, this is my mom's little golf cart. Get around. Yeah. Oh, this is... Boy, she's just a little hot rod demon in this. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, she loves this yeah. thing. Puts her dogs in it. They ride it back here in the back. She put her blanket down. Yeah, it's, mm. it's a cool little golf cart. Yeah, it's got the headlights and shit. Mm. I don't know where the horn button is. <coughs> Even got a radio. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a stereo in it. Yeah, I got this kid. I used to sleep in a little three man, mm -hmm. three man job. You had to put the poles in. Mm -hmm. And I got tired of getting down. And then when you, you, you go in, you have to get down. That one you just kind of lean over. I don't know, it's just whatever you prefer, really. Well, I mean, the only reason I got the tent that, that I got, because I, I just thought it was cool that it had the little garage that you I could possibly it. pull your motorcycle in. You got one of those? Oh, yeah, I got one of those Wolf Did Walker you? ones. Oh, those are nice, it's man. It's like the Lone, Lone Rider knockoff. Yeah. But they had it on sale for $205. That's an Army issue? Yep. White fighter tent. That's cool, man. What's that called again? A light fighter. It's a light fighter tent. And you could cram Made that in, in Georgia. Is it? Yep. That's amazing. I, I will definitely. I'll go by the Army Navy. Mine only holds like a two and a half foot. Really? Yeah. Damn, <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, go ahead. I mean, you smoke in here if you want. Oh, no. Well, you got no smoking signs. Oh, shit. That's just... <laughs> it's just for looks, man. Oh, okay. We don't invade by that shit. This was the little exhaust that went on the grum. Yeah. Before the guy laid it down, and snapped it off. Did you have that at Forgotten Angels? Yeah. Yeah. And then I remember you did. Was uh, it was either Friday morning or Saturday mornings when he laid it down hmm. and broke the header pipe, but sounds like shit with this on but i just like the looks of it with, yeah. the, with the blue it yeah. goes with it the looks, light it looks cool wade and i said goodbye to jerry and headed back towards tom's place about 50 pounds of gear. It looks like a lot. Lynch stole Christmas. Where are you heading today? Going to, uh, on my way to Mayberry. To but, Mayberry? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go see Aunt B. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm on Blue Ridge Parkway. Right okay, okay. Camp on the, one of those roadside uh, pull-off things. Yeah. Camp yeah. around things. Yeah. Pisca National Forest. Pisca Natural. You say it again. Pisca. <laughs> Yeah, I'll send you that, uh, that link, that copper thing. Okay. Man, listen to that thing, pearl like a Cadillac. Yeah, that's a bad machine. Wow. All right, walking down to the bottom of uh, Tom's Hill out here. There's a little creek running through there. Uh, even though he's got a pretty nice outdoor shower. I don't know, I guess I just have to be difficult. It looks cold. Well, I can tell you already this is gonna suck. Uh, it's middle of May. I doubt this water is very warm yet, but uh, I'm gonna walk down here and see if I can find a little bit deeper pool. There's some fish in there. Little guy right there. That'll wake you up. Oh yeah, it looks like a nice pool right there. Cool, thank you, man. Appreciate it. You bet. Yep, so I got my rotisserie chicken, check. Water, check. Uh, bike's running good. We tightened up the preload on the rear shock, adjusted the steering head bearings a little bit. Fresh oil change, chains cleaned and lubed. So. Lubed all the pivots? Lubed all the pivots, yep. I say she's ready to go. Ready as she'll ever be. All right, brother. See you next time. Dedicator. Joe here. Uh, just a quick reminder, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, as usual, I've included an optional donate link in the drop box for anybody that might like to contribute to this project. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the road.